Hey guys, welcome to another Merch by Amazon designer tip. I am your host, Steve. Today's going to be a pretty quick tip for you. Um, one thing you guys can do to maximize, maximize your uploads is, let's say you have one design, like I'll use this as an example. Let's say you make a dog design. Instead of like just calling it good with that one design, let's let's say you make a design about a German Shepherd, right? So you have a German Shepherd in the shirt and then you have like some sort of caption, you know, let's say it says go grab the ball or something like that as the caption, right? So what you can do guys to maximize those uploads is just swap out the dog. So if you have a caption that's a cool do- like uh, saying for a dog or a dog lover, something dog lovers would like, the, the text says something they'd like, then you can simply just swap out the image for different different dogs or you know this can go for any niche guys this could go for like sports let's say you have a really good sport saying you could just switch sports and make multiple designs with different sports um you could take the same template that you have for like a pet design and make 30 shirts out of it for 30 different pets you see what i'm saying um you know try different colors um, one tip I one tip that I was given this week that's actually pretty good advice is maybe stand out stand outside the box a little bit. Everybody's uploading black shirts. Why not upload a pink shirt? Uh, that's what one of my coaches told me this week. Why not upload a pink shirt and try to stand out? Um, that's what Amazon is about, guys. Is standing out. Um, about fifty percent of sales come from black shirts, so you want to have the black shirts in your inventory. But um, another thing I was told this week is you want to try to limit your colors which i kind of disagree with that advice um the person said try to make it like four colors so it's a quick buying experience but me personally as a customer i would probably actually be more likely to buy a design with more colors because i feel like i have more of a shopping choice um so i think it really depends on the shopper what they how they feel i mean for me i think if someone wants to buy something they're gonna buy it they don't want to buy it they're not gonna buy it so it's it's kind of one of those things i don't know if they've scientifically proven that faster you know faster times on listing equate to to bigger sales that could be the case but you could do some trial and error and upload like upload like four colors one design and then do 10 colors the next design and just see what you're getting for traffic on that um if you are going to run ads guys what i've been doing is just i've been mostly just running um auto campaigns on a low budget so like 20 dollars a day Um, I've been doing like 40 cent bids with 100% placement, which means I'm going to get that top of search ad spot. So I'll do like 40 cents for an auto, like a close match auto, I'll do like 40 cents. And then I'll adjust the placement for 100% of top of search because I know that most, most, most sales come from top of search. So that's how I'll run the auto. And also, um, instead of shutting off like substitutes, compliments and um, all that, I'll actually just lower the bids on it, guys. Um, you can keep everything on the auto, just lower the bids. Um, like like the substitute section, that would be like prog- product targeting. That's something you really want, but you can go in with a low bid. Try 25 cents for product, product targeting and see what happens. Just keep in mind when you're adjusting those uh, placement stats, like the 100%, that's going to double your bid. So if it's a 40 cent bid and you're 100% placement stat for top of search, you're going to be as high as 80 cents a click for that because it's going to double it up to 100%. Um, so they have up and down, um, up and down placement. So that's like, it can raise it by up to a hundred percent or lower it, depending on likely of a sale. I like fixed bids. That's what I go with guys. I'm a, I'm a big fixed bids person. That's because my PPC coach recommends that. Um, actually you guys could check him out. I'll go ahead and toot his horns right now. His name is Lucas and, uh, he runs a PPC channel on YouTube. Um, he's really, really good at PPC. Um, I think it's Nomads. Um, that's who I'd recommend to you guys. If you go on YouTube and click Nomads, there's a guy named Lucas and he runs a PPC channel and you're going to learn a lot from Lucas. Um, that's where I've learned some of my golden tickets, like one being that auto, you know, set the auto at uh, the close match at 40 cents and then set the placement at 100 top of search. That's something I got from Lucas. You see how you can reach out to all these even free YouTubers like myself and grab all these golden nuggets for your business guys. Um, In conclusion, guys, I'd like to recommend that you guys grab helium 10 from me. I'm going to have a couple um, discount codes in the description. So you guys can get a discount at helium 10.com. This can be a couple different discounts. Um, It's going to vary. I'll have like two or three different discount codes, but you guys can go over to helium 10.com. 
Remember that sales on March by Amazon are trying to link up those keywords. So that's going to be the power of Helium 10 because they have all the keyword tools like Magnet where you can find really awesome keywords that you can then put in your listings. Um, you can find the high search keywords so then you can plug those into your manual campaigns and start driving traffic. Um, you're going to find keywords with Helium 10, 10 that you're not going to find elsewhere. I'll give you a perfect example. When I was selling professional um, sink snakes from China on Amazon FBA, I found out a certain brand from from a Helium 10 that I would never find out on my own. Just off that one keyword, I got like 10 to 20 sales, something I never would have gotten without the power of Helium 10 because they're giving you all those hidden secret keywords that they, your average person will never find. Um, it's going to give you those long-winded keywords, which are low-bid keywords. So, you know, five six, key, five, six words in a phrase might bring you like 10 cent, 20 cent clicks because no one's bidding on those keywords. Um, guys, there's all kinds of tricks that you guys can do. But um, I recommend, you know, it, just check your budget for PPC. Make sure you're not going over what you can afford. Of course, you want to make this a fun thing, guys, right? Um, if, you're, if your PPC is not working at all, you could shut the campaign off. You can shut keywords off. You can lower your daily budget. You can lower your bids. There's all kinds of stuff you guys can do that will help you be successful in your Merch by Amazon account. But uh, don't forget, head over to Helium 10, plug in my discount codes, get Magnet, so you, at least you have the keyword tool. So you can start using those keywords in your manual campaigns and start seeing those sales right away. Thank you so much, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. My name is Steve. I've been a Merch by Amazon seller for about five years. I'm tier 500 right now. Um, guys, the sky's the limit. Just keep keep crushing it. I'm going to leave one of my shirts in, in the description so you can check out some of my designs and check out my shirts, see if it's something you'd like to get with your tax return. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, Steve signing out.